a capital on its knees. At its biggest hospitals, people being pushed to the limit of human endurance. My husband's in a very bad state. Let me get through, this woman says. She's been carrying him around for 10 hours. Many of these people won't survive the night. Sir, for one minute, come and look at my mother, a man pleads. A doctor follows him to the ambulance and prepares to say the words he's had to say over and over again in the past day alone. She's no more. Her family, among hundreds in India, denied even the chance of saving a loved one. COVID-19 has hit this country with a ferocity not seen before, but not unexpected either. This woman tries to revive her brother, who was losing consciousness. Balaji Tirupati, the father of two children, died minutes later. His family wanted their story to be heard. There's an acute shortage of oxygen too. Seema Devi died because the ambulance ran out of it. Some hospitals have just a few hours of supply left. And this is Delhi, which has among the best healthcare facilities in the country. It's what's been feared would happen since the pandemic began. But once the first wave subsided, the government almost declared victory over COVID-19. The country's been caught unprepared. And now it's stunned by fear and grief. At this crematorium, new funeral platforms have had to be built overnight because of numbers they've never had to handle before. In a protective suit, Rohit Sharma builds a pyre for his mother Deepika with crematorium workers. It's a ritual normally performed together by families. We were not prepared. As a country, we were not prepared. And it's, it's really sad to see my mother go away because she was just 59. And she recently retired and wanted to spend some quality time with us. But all I could see is lying down on the... That's all I... Holding on to his mother's bangles, a broken man. So many more will lose as the virus rips through India. Yogita Lamai, BBC News, Delhi.